That's a start. Give a round of applause to everyone in the frag cast. We are here with Grim the Jim, Joker <laughs> Show, <laughs> and Follow myself, the Joe. Little Clorox. <laughs> Follow That's the Joe. definitely my name. <laughs> and uh, yeah, welcome to episode number four of the frag cast, sponsored by Joe Fo Show Gaming uh, on YouTube. And Jax has dyslexia. And thank. Did I say Fo Show Joe? No, you you said you Grim, said the, Grim gym. the Gym. Yeah, Grim the Gym. Jim the Grim. Jim the Grim. No, I intentionally said Grim the Gym because oh, his name's oh, okay. Jim. No, that was intentional, 100%. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, we're going to start off this podcast from a topic of choice from Joe. He says he has some stuff he wants to share, or questions to ask the cast. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so, <laughs> what do you guys think of gnomes? I like what? them in my garden. And not Keemstar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second second point to that I can only think of the Mike Tyson episode where the gnome was trapped in this lady's van <laughs> oh god uh, that's that's really it you know what I should probably actually get a garden gnome for my uh, top of my refrigerator I think that would look better than a fallout helmet and what type of gnome will this be will it be your well, well, run of the mill garden gnome will it be one of the fun like um more like comedy esque ones where they're doing kind of funny stuff. Like there was the one in the thong, you know. Ooh. Well, that, that's what I wanted to ask you, Joe. Is like, what do you mean by gnome? Any gnome. Yeah. What do you think and of gnome? You can mean like a garden gnome. You can mean the mythical creature if you wanted to get into that. But like, just gnomes in general. Hmm. I think they're pretty fucking cool. <laughs> you know, it's like it. Like, I gotta think it's about like this a, one. It's like a, a a leprechaun without the racial tendencies. So, like, that's pretty dope. Well, leprechauns are real, for one, so there's a difference yeah. between gnomes and leprechauns. Yeah, don't get it twisted, man. <clears throat> I mean, um, gnomes are real, too, though. Careful. If you're gonna... Careful with your choice of words in this. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't oh, at all no. what I meant. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yes, I just completely we're... ruined the whole show just right now. Like, yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> I think for gnomes, what I'd want to get as like, you know, like, <clears throat> I think I picture a garden gnome first, like those statues. First thing that comes to mind is I want, I would want to get one that is doing something funny. Like I've seen them, like, you know, the gnomes that are mooning or, you know, have their wang out or something like that. I'd probably get something facebook hilarious funny like that <laughs> oh yeah so so yeah. minion yeah minion memes. yes i i love minion memes those that's my jam that makes so much sense now what kind Pretty of jam? much mm. i prefer strawberry mm. strawberry or blackberry actually i'm not a big fan of raspberry you know raspberry. I, I i was more of a raspberry guy but then i just tried <laughs> blueberry for the first time like recently and it was delicious like actual jam, like not some store bought, <laughs> like Smuckers shit. You know what I mean? Wow! Imagine yeah. dissing Smuckers. Oh, there goes another fucking potential sponsor. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, hey, by the way, we fucking no hate craft. Are, those are preserves. Okay. You're <laughs> no longer preserve. sponsored by Smuckers. Sorry. Great. Yeah. Sorry about anyway. that. Okay. <laughs> Joe, so what's gnomes. Your wait. Wait. Yes. Gnomes. Yes. Gnomes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So a couple things yes. come to mind when I think gnomes. First uh -oh. of all, so hey Jim, what? Gnomes, gnomes, gnomes. First thing that comes to my mind when I think of gnomes: <laughs> World of Warcraft and Dungeons and Dragons. Somehow this I knew this was gonna get brought I, I, into yeah, the wild territory. I am not surprised. I thought we were doing yes. so good, and he's. <laughs> Let me tell you about World of Warcraft. <laughs> no. Listen, man. They're, they're interesting things to think about when you think of gnomes. Because is it like a halfling gnome? Or is it like smaller? Or is oh, it yeah. Bigger? Fair question. Are we talking about like the regular garden gnomes? Like, you know, the typical red hat, red pointy hat? 
gardenware gnome or are we talking about like any gnome i mean that's kind of up to your discretion when i said no so it's just gnome it's just gnome whatever grim okay well yeah i mean i think gnomes are generally defined as like pesky creatures that are actually kind of cool so essentially me pesky small he said pesky not frisky Um, yeah (laughs) shit i don't know but i think that they're definitely like if you said it to anyone they would know what you were talking about you know what i mean so i think they're like definitely prominent well yeah nobody doesn't know what a fucking gnome is come on i mean like but think about it is there are there other like words for gnome in any other language like is gnome universal el nomo (laughs) <laughs> los nomes gnome senpai all right oh. time for our, the segment grim google shit <laughs> Jesus. putting graphics <laughs> <laughs> oh. if i actually do that or not we'll see but i like to pretend like i'm gonna do that it's so literally well, well, it's literally nomo nomo yes! no it's it's yes! more universal as nomo <laughs> Joe's like, fucking okay, so Liddy. Only French and English is it gnome, but it's in other languages Brazil, nomo. European What's Spanish, up? nomo. German, it's just nom. Italy, <laughs> it's Italy it's nomo. We should Europe- talk about Germans in general and how they just don't give a fuck. I, like, I do like Germans a lot. I mean I, I am German. <laughs> My background is heavily German. Yeah, about Auschwitz. Man. Oh. What? <coughs> Cut that. <laughs> nope, that's staying. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um, Joe, what's your take on gnomes? I think gnomes are fucking sweet. What kind of gnome? Um, Like your run-of-the-mill garden gnome. Uh, okay. Do you have a fucking ukulele? No. Are we turning this into a ukulele stream? Because I got one upstairs. <laughs> Grim, do you have a ukulele? I used to, yeah. Oh, but you don't currently have one. No. Darn. It was like a shared one, and then it had to be given up. I had like a ukulele that was like a V guitar. It was weird. Oh, that's cool. See, that's like a that's like a gnome guitar. It's a ukulele. <laughs> it's a, Yeah, it's a gnome guitar. Yeah. That's a perfect way to put that. A gnome tar. Gnome tar? Yeah. Actually, it might be... No, actually, it's, like, perfect. Like, don't you just think of, like, like a like, like a bard at, like, some, like, place, and they're just... It's just a gnome bard, and they're just strumming on their little... In, instead of a lute, it's a ukulele? Yes. <laughs> I mean, think about it. The lutes are fucking big. They are. They're, they're also, like, very... Th- like... Thick. If you're looking at one like top, like, top down, like they're like the, it's not the head or the neck; it's the base of it. I guess is like very thick. It's a very thick instrument. Same. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, I got a question for you guys. Yeah, have yes. you ever had any weird hobbies? Um. Or like like any hobby, really. Like, did you ever have a weird one? If not, what was your regular hobby? Aside from streaming, that doesn't count. Hobby aside from streaming, that doesn't count. Um, Yeah. No, streaming doesn't count, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, I mean, I can't include my weird phase where I tried to be Markiplier and I did Let's Plays on YouTube. Um, So, then... (laughs) Wait, you're not a Markiplier? No, I wish. (laughs) Oh... <laughs> I'll start this off a little bit. I have a coin collection mm. and a rock collection. Okay. That I kind of have as my, uh, my little hobbies. Those were when I was younger, though. So, like, I had volcanic rocks and all this weird shit, and then, like, money from all kinds of different countries. Aside from that, believe it or not, I do have, like, RC cars. Oh, hell yeah. And drones. Hmm. I do have that as my one weird hobby. Like, you can even see it, like, right here. 
I have the remote control for my uh, my RC car, and that RC hits about like a hundred and twenty kilometers at max speed. Jesus, it's yeah, it's it's fucking fast. That that's it was some money. It was like twelve hundred dollars. I had All a buddy that hand was too. real into that shit, and uh, we thought was it, it was Nick? hilarious to. Nah, it was <laughs> it was my buddy, uh, buddy Mike, and he got one that was like stupid fast like that, Jax. And we thought it was really funny to crash it into people's ankles uh, at like top oh. speed. Oh, ooh, yikes! Yeah. Um, I don't know, dude. Like, I collect a lot of shit, and I feel like I had a bunch of failed <clears throat> hobbies. T- t- talk about it because i haven't fucking included anything in my coin or rock collection in years i don't know like these posters like that's i feel like i used to collect posters a lot and like that's how far i got is what you're seeing pretty much really <laughs> uh yeah i mean like i had more obviously i just got rid of them because they just didn't make sense like anything that i could get my hands on that was like a poster or, like a, like one of those little stickers mm-hmm. kind of like stickers i guess but like <clears throat> Anything that could, like, I could put on a wall and make, like, a wall of, like, an identity. You know what I mean? That's pretty cool, know. though. That's a cool concept. I would, yeah, like that. Like, I don't know, like, aesthetic stuff. And I, like, I like to collect, like, books, obviously. Um, like the Game of Thrones books. <laughs> all back there. Movies. Oh, that's actually one of the things that I collect quite often. Okay. D- okay, question for you, then. When you do movies, do you do, like... The like kind of with video games, they have like the metal cases for them, and I know movies sometimes mm-hmm. come with them too. Do you do like the metal case collections? Yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. Um, actually, I'll show you my favorite one. Oh, here we go. It's show and tell now. <laughs> You're doing the Joe, what podcast. the fuck are you doing? Doing the podcast. <laughs> doing the podcast. Grimm's oh, the Lord of the Rings. Books. You have to. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do Lord of the Rings. It's the extended, and it opens up, and I love it. You know what I mean? It's great. Grim, I got something for you super quick. I think you'll appreciate this. <laughs> Joe's over here tuning. Yep. Jack's left the podcast, and he's back with some books. Ooh. I have the Lord of the Rings complete series all in this very nice cloth. Including The Hobbit. That's my favorite book. Book collection here. I Orlando like Bloom is the one. best. I do. And <laughs> Bloom is the best. Okay. Um, the thing that I, I uh, like most with The Hobbit, fun That's fact okay. here, is that I hid like all of my cash that I ever had in like college in there. And there's a r- real quick story. The, like, Obama was, like, landing at my college, like, um, to, like, give a speech there and a helicopter field. So we had to have all of our, like, all the dorms that were next to this, the soccer field had to close their windows, you know, so, like, we couldn't see outside or anything. And we had to move all of our cars um, uh, out of the parking lot, you know. They didn't want anything, you know, it, Secret Service measures, whatever. Anyways, yeah. so... Uh, they thought Grum was going to assassinate Obama. Well, okay, so... <laughs> oh, but, oh and, and another thing about this story is my uh, Honda that I had at the time, Honda Civic, was Canadian, and it, it got me out of a lot of speeding tickets for being like, officer, it's in kilometers. And they're like, well, damn. Anyways, um, so I had to move my car, and I forgot about it. Uh, really forgetful in college. Can't imagine why. Uh, <laughs> and they thought anyway. it was a car bomb. <laughs> Uh, so they were towing my car and I run downstairs and I see him doing it and I'm like, how much to give you to you right now if I could just move my car if you don't tow it? They're like, you know, 140 and I'm like, Jesus. And I'm like yelling up at my roommates. I'm like, throw down the Hobbit from my bedroom. They're like, what? I'm like, the <laughs> Hobbit. And they were like, okay. They toss it down. And I'm just like, here you go. And the dude was just like, what? And he's just like, <laughs> he just let my car down. And I drove this it off. This is my money book. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's bizarre, but that's you know. pretty good. That's that's pretty cool. Um, what about you, Joe? What do you got for hobbies? Well, I mean, as a kid, I just kind of did hood rat shit with my friends. Like we'd ride our bike around. <laughs> oh, I 100% we'd, did that too. We'd, yeah. we'd steal. I mean, I guess one of my hobbies would be stealing traffic cones. Um, <laughs> oh, I've stolen so many. And uh, so we we allowed to admit about that. Yeah, why not? I don't give a fuck. There's got to be crime. some sort of like. 
legality thing behind I was a minor. <laughs> they can't charge me with it now. Um, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so like we would we would take them and we would store them at in Mike's backyard because he had the biggest backyard. And <laughs> then we would get back together or like we'd go and do other shit. And then around like nine or ten o'clock at night, we'd pick a random road in our neighborhood and just block off the street. Um, and the one time we got really ballsy and we did it on uh, Schomburg Road, which is like our like one of our main roads. Except we didn't fully block it off. We just made it look like there was like construction around this one guy's house. Um, so we just dropped. It's a it's a four lane road. We dropped it to three lanes. Um, and we sat there laughing. So like, haha, look, we're impeding traffic. Um, and apparently when we were 15, <laughs> that was like the funniest thing. Um, and yeah, I mean, we, we tried to steal some of the, uh, pommel horses, like the big construction ones. Um, once we were 16 and driving mm -hmm. because one of my buddies had a RAV4. Actually, this was, this was Nick. Um, at that point, and you guys both know Nick, um, yep. and we would throw them in the back of his car and then uh, block off random parking spots in the local <laughs> Jewel parking lot. Um, so. Let's see. Besides that, there was some weird guy that worked at the uh, GameStop by us, and we'd go and hang out with him, and he would be, like, unpacking stuff, like new Wii's and shit like that. And we would be throwing, like, box cutters at the boxes, seeing if we could get them to stick, uh, like, throwing knives. And the one time, uh, oh, my God, I don't remember the dude's name at this point. But he had, he had like, a <coughs> big pocket knife that he always had with him. And while we were using little box cutters to help open it, he had this fat-ass knife. And the one time, he whipped it at a box, and it went straight into a Wii. <laughs> And he took it out and like this thing, it was like a full knife gouge just right in the side of it. And uh, he goes, well, this one came in damaged. That's unfortunate. And just like slapped it back in the box. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. And then he got fired because he was doing coke on the job. So that, oh. was, that was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we were like 16 doing that. That's pretty gnarly. Yeah. It was interesting, oh. dude. Shit, if we want to get into shenanigans like that, where we did stuff like that, I gotta. Yeah, I mean those here. those were like my only <laughs> hobbies really besides gaming, because it was the rest of the time it was it was you know sports practice between yeah. football and uh, wrestling. Well, Hell so yeah. I guess part of my hobbies at the time, like aside from the rocks and all that small shit, I did a lot of skateboarding, a lot of BMXing, and. In the town where we were growing up, we didn't have a skate park or anything. It, we had to go a town over if we wanted to use a skate park. So finally, my town was like, okay, we're going to put up a skate park. Here we go. It's going to be a full, like, it really, it was, it's still, like, it's a really nice concrete layout. Ooh. Like, a, yeah, it's got the pool and everything, and it's it's super nice. So, like, okay. So they're in the middle of building it, and, of course, nobody is patient enough for it to be finished being built. Because, like, fuck, you got the pool done? We're going to skate the pool while you do everything else during the day. Yeah. So, I, but the thing is, like, it's trespassing on um, construction, like, property at the moment, right? So, of course, we'd go there. People would just go into the bowl, smoke a bunch of weed in the bottom, <clears throat> and then rip the bowl and then, like, dip as soon as the cops came around. Well, we were doing that, but at the same time, we were also really into the thing of, like, okay, how many buildings in our town can we successfully climb to the rooftop? <laughs> <clears throat> also now, our skate park was behind. <laughs> yeah. Our skate park was behind the community center, and right beside the community center was the uh, hockey rink. <clears throat> so, we were really into the climbing the buildings at the time, and forgetting about the park being under construction, cops would come by. And, like, there was a sidewalk that came from one road and went all the way back between the community center and the hockey rink. So, a cop would just drive on the grass and go through there, and then go to the next street over to watch for people in the construction zones. Meanwhile, when this cop came cruising through, there was four of us on top of the community center, <laughs> just stripped, trespassing, and we're like, oh, fuck, a cop car came down, and we all ducked down, and 
uh, so we had to sit up there for probably about 45 minutes so this fucking cop moved. <laughs> <laughs> so that we wouldn't get in shit. And then aside from uh, anything like that, we fucked around with this one piece of shit neighbor on our street. He uh, he really hated kids. He was always yelling at kids. And he wasn't even that old. He was probably like 45, like maybe so 50 at the time. So you killed them. Yes. Perfect. Um, but no, this was probably when I was like, I think it was like 15 or 16 at the time. This guy was a dick. Anyways, it was one of my buddy's birthday parties. Like, we're just chilling, you know, we got food and drinks and we're like, it was all the whole skating scene. We just wanted to go out, rip some boards and all that stuff. And right. And then like <clears throat> a bunch of cars came by. All of a sudden it was like a flux of traffic out of nowhere on like a side road. It wasn't normal. So we're sitting there, we're like, what the fuck's all of this traffic? And then all of a sudden, like, we did this, and a car fucking slams on his brakes. And it was the guy. Hmm. And he gets out of his fucking car, yelling at us. He's like, what? You think you can just throw your fucking arms at me because, like, you know I'm driving by? We're like, dude, we're doing it because there's a bunch of traffic. This has nothing to do with you. It just so happens you were driving by when we did this. It was ha- just and so happened like, you were the particular asshole that was paying attention. Yeah. And it's like, fuck. And he, come, he comes out and, like, he, like, is face-to-face with my buddy. And he's like, yeah, you think you're, like, hot shit, don't you? He's like, wow, you're pretty fucking brave to be talking to a 15-year-old about this shit. Sure you don't want a restraining order? And the dude just, like, gets back in his car and drives away. We're like, you know what? We're gonna fuck with this guy. Fuck this guy. So I don't know if you guys know about the baloney trick. If you put it on, like, a hood of a car during a hot summer days, you put baloney and it'll take the paint off the hood of the car. Yeah, yeah, the same thing works yeah. with eggs and cheese. Exactly. Yeah. So what we did is we decided to absolutely ruin this dude's car. Oh, no. We we took off. So he had like the um, where are they like the hubcaps. You pull them off. We filled all his rims with like a shit ton of stones on all four wheels, and then put the caps back ah! on. And then fuck we, this like, dude's took... alignment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we took a potato and like a hockey stick and we shove the potato so far in his fucking muffler <laughs> yeah, i'm not he even made kidding a fucking bomb yeah <laughs> uh we ruined his muffler we left a shit ton of baloney on the hood of his car and then we also tp'd the shit out of like wet toilet paper all over his fucking windows so that hardened <laughs> and dried like fuck this guy like that's that's the type of shit we did we were so mean to our neighbors and shit I mean it that's so fine. We it, threw though. we threw rocks at a car that almost hit us, and then he got out and chased <laughs> us. So that was fun. Yeah. Buddy Ty- oh, go ahead. Oh no, I uh, I was just gonna say on the rock thing. Um, I, we were like, you know those big vans that have like the doors that swing out in the back, but like it's like a it's like a home van, you know? Like there's like a like construction tape. vans or electric. No, 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 no. It's like a vans? rate van. No, 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 no. It's like a there's like a tape. And like you know, um, it's like a movie van. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's like hard to describe, but like it's like a full size van, but it's got like nice chairs. It's got like you know, a, like a bed in the back, and like you know, there's like a, a okay, TV yeah, so for just DVDs like a camper shit. van. Yeah, 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 but not yeah. like not like as big as one. Like just as big as like a box truck van. If that makes sense. Anyway, my friend used to have one, and parked in in his in his driveway at his parents' house. It was his parents, not his, but um. We would like pull the curtain down in the back, open the back doors out, and just toss shit at oncoming traffic <laughs> out, out of the driveway. And like one time, it was a battery, and it, we just whipped it. And I don't know why the battery, like it was like a D cell battery, you know. And we whipped it, and it fucking like it just it straight up took this dude's hubcap right off. And like we just closed the doors because he like slammed on his face. We just closed the doors and like rolled it up, and he had no fucking clue what happened. Like, he didn't know where it came from. He got out. He was looking. And we were just sitting there, like, looking through the tinted glass, like... This motherfucker is thought there was, like, gonna a come sniper. Over here? It was insane. Jesus. And we just the, do that all the time. On the rock situation, one of my buddies is, uh... He, he rides sports bikes and shit. So they keep a hand... They keep, a, like, a pocket full of rocks with them. So like oh, because yeah for balance a lot of cars are pieces of shit towards uh, motorcyclists for balance oh yeah so don't ruin basically this for like, them. it's for balance 
<laughs> yeah. So it's... like he keep he literally keeps a pocket full of rocks anytime he go he goes out, and he would just like if someone's being a dick to him, he'll fucking be riding and just whip stones at their fucking car and like crack their uh, like windows or some shit like that, and then just take off. I love those videos of like the guys like kicking off the side view mirrors and shit when like cars <laughs> cut them off. It's so good. It's so good. I just had someone do that recently to me where they like cut me off like and almost ran me off the road and I just got right up next to him and like Monica's like don't please don't and I was just like I just did that. I didn't like give him the finger. Wow. And they were just like they were up. They were freaking out. Like, they started freaking out. I'm like, you fucking asshole, man. Like, you almost ran me off the road. You didn't see me. And they were all just like, eh, eh, eh. And I was like, dude, fuck you. Like, you know, like, people are assholes. It's like driving here in Ontario. Ontario, especially it's on, bad. like, 401, 403, yep. is fucking terrible. It's, it's sketchy to drive. They drive come for to, keeps, Come man. to Chicago for a weekend. I'd probably rather drive there than drive on the 401 I, on a busy I've, day. I've driven in both of those areas. I will say that Canadians are assholes. If, yeah. if, they're, if they're nicer in, at every wake of life but driving. It's pretty much it. Like, they are pieces well, of like, shit when it comes around to driving Toronto, on the highways like, here. Like, around the Toronto area and, like, the extended area. That's, like, <clears> really bad. Now, Chicago is also bad. Um I don't know. I I can't really say though from like a pandemic standpoint. Like like Boston didn't seem bad, but everybody was just like, dude, no. Like it's it's like really bad, and I was just like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> but like no one's on the road. Yeah. No, I don't no, know. If... It, it, I found that's gotten worse lately because a lot more of the older folks are out on the roads too, and they're slow as shit and don't know what the hell they're doing. And they're not mm. dead yet. And they're on a five lane highway. I think there should be a law that. Old people After... shouldn't exist. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's called hospice. No. Yeah. Hospice? Hospice. Hospice. I don't know. Hospice. 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 Okay. hospice. I tried the second time. <laughs> oh, no. Um, That's one way to no, kill like, them. Just give them a lot of I spice. Think, like, you it's just have old to people take... flavoring. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> old people flavored flakes. Put them on my hamburgers. <laughs> but I feel like after, like, so long, like, like 55 you should have to retake your test and if like you're too bad like you don't get your license anymore <clears throat> yeah like every two years it, like when you hit like that senior age you should have like every two years like mm -hmm. are you actually eligible a reassessment like, safe yeah. to drive we yeah. should just but they don't do that because fucking insurance... old person lane yeah. well <laughs> insurance companies thrive off of it so i doubt they'll ever fucking do it do you know what i love the issue. commuter lanes commuter lanes are dope they're the best here. Love that idea. Around Toronto. They are the Especially best. Especially, you just get a blow-up doll, you put it in your passenger seat, commuting. Oh, no, please still pull over people for that. I know, they, I know. People get caught so often for that, but, yeah. You'll have to get the one, commuter of those, lanes one of those so real cash. sex dolls. Yeah, the weird ones True. that are all, I don't know what Can the you fuck get away with a body with. pillow? No, because that's pillow-shaped. Like, you'd need one of the ones that looks <laughs> like a human. True. <laughs> okay, so the officer pulls me over. I got like a full like man slab on my passenger oh, yeah. seat with a mannequin head on it. So I just like to point out that we went from gnomes to sex dolls in this one. So that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, Grim. Let's move on to topics. So Joe did a topic. I did a topic. Grim, do you have any quick topics? Uh, quick topics off the top of my head. How do you guys feel about the? craziness that's going on with st streaming platforms <laughs> i don't know it came to my head um and by that i mean like the emergence of them as like in in popularity yeah like alternate streaming platforms like not really Is like twitch and youtube anything and... aside from twitch and youtube like the gotcha. main yeah yeah it's definitely needed i can say that much like the fact it's that needed, but the, the fact that twitch has I had don't... a monopoly this entire time has allowed kind of this like real toxic culture to thrive where That's if you're true. if it's not twitch you fucking suck it's i caffeine I, I like the idea of having the alternative streaming places because I want one of them to eventually overcome Twitch and gain dominance over the streaming platforms and actually have 
the competitiveness across multiple platforms. However, mm-hmm. between the current ones I know of right now is Trovo, Caffeine, and Theta. Yes. Theta is trash ass. It's already established that because it's a Bitcoin mining operation with a shit ton of bots. What about D Live? D Live I've never heard of. I don't I can't have really? an opinion on that. I don't know D Live. I do not have an opinion. Wow. D Live uh, is, is, is Theta sort of without streams. any of the polish. <clears throat> no, oh, he doesn't stream there anymore. Streaming. He ended the contract because he did. yeah. Okay. Anyways, or his contract yeah. ran out and he didn't renew it or something like that. But either way, like D Live was is super sus. Shout out anybody that's actually on D Live that now hates us, but like yeah. Huh. Sorry guys. I, I've talked Wait. to I've talked to Zonda a lot about D Live actually. You talked to Zonda? Oh wow. Yeah. Um Oh, and Facebook Live. Facebook, I don't think will go anywhere. It's garbage. I don't. Like no, Facebook it's Facebook trying. It's Facebook it's, trying to do the Facebook thing where they see yeah. something else that succeeds and they take it over. Hey, That's you know, exactly eBay's what it is. eBay's a pretty cool platform. We have Facebook Marketplace now. Hey, yeah. YouTube does really good with their videos. Now we have Facebook Video. Um, yeah. Hey, people really like to post their pictures on Instagram and use a lot of hashtags. We now have the hashtagging system, and now... Well, they bought Instagram. Well, <laughs> yeah, that too. Then they bought Instagram after that. But, but yeah, they anyways, use the so, only like, Facebook good Live, I don't think, counts. That, in my opinion, is a wannabe shitty platform. I would never, ever even think of streaming on it. It's definitely a cash grab thing. Oh, 100%. Um, with Trovo, I think I see some success in that, although it hasn't been very... It's been it's been doing as well as Mixer has to say the least when Rest Mixer first came around. Yeah, <laughs> Rip Mixer and then Caffeine. Well, it's Facebook now. I I I'm surprised <laughs> Caffeine is even fucking still around. That was released yeah. a few years ago, and it's when I go they back got, and they look, there's big, not a lot of people that are on it. It's because they paid big names to fucking hop on and advertise for them, like fucking Quavo. Oh, s- so did Mixer though. Yeah, fair enough. S- so. I don't think caffeine is going to last. I'll give probably caffeine another year or two at most. Because I don't think that platform is going anywhere. Um, not to mention its UI is absolute garbage. Well, I, they just haven't made any waves. Like, <laughs> yeah. unless they haven't you, made like, any waves. Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, like, the fact that they've, like, besides the Instagram marketing campaign that I've seen and, like, you know, they had all the big name people come in and do those probably one off streams um, just to like draw interest in it. Like it's it's the same kind of concept as Mixer where it's like it's a it's a promising idea and like the premise is really cool. But like the the continued improvement and support on the site, as far as I'm aware, just isn't there. No, they haven't updated like. So I joined Caffeine and Beta when I was first starting it, or like probably a year after I started streaming, because I was like, hey, like Mixer exists. What can I do with Caffeine? Like, is this going to potentially be a runner up? I went on it, made an account, started streaming on Caffeine for a couple of weeks, and there was nothing. Nobody watched. There was barely even anyone on the site during Beta. I'm like, hey, well, I'll leave it for now. Maybe let it grow. See what happens. They have basically changed nothing from their initial Beta release. Wow. There was no growth. There's been nothing. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. And so I doubt that's going to exceed. So honestly, in competitions for to Twitch, I think our best bets is probably going to be Trovo. I would like to say I have some hope for Theta, but I don't think I really have any hope for Theta thanks to X amount of names that are across the platform. And huh. <laughs> I don't know. I really, I really hate the idea of like, hey, cool, I have like six viewers how's everyone doing and then your chat's empty for the rest of the night because it's just bots like that that's such a feel bad like you got says people are watching you you're trying to have conversations no replies no nothing you're pretty much on your own and it's 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 a it's a real tricky thing to get through though because like you look at it and you're you're drawing people in with the incentive of they're being rewarded for like participating on the site right yeah yeah. So no matter what, anytime that you're giving somebody this incentive to come in and it's like some sort of, you know, financial or otherwise gain for them, 
it's it's a very fine line to kind of walk where it's like that's not the primary focus of it and yeah. you know and like grim this kind of segues right into what we were talking about before the uh, the podcast is like you know like giveaways and stuff like that like it yeah. it'll grow it'll grow your the numbers on your social media platforms it'll grow the the literal following that you have but the the sustenance behind it more often than not becomes just extremely lackluster and it's essentially just a a, a dead useless number you know and especially nowadays like everything everybody that i've talked to um that's even like remotely involved in you know the video game industry in any fashion um those those numbers are meaning less and less and it's more your ability to transform those numbers into something more meaningful for the companies for the brands for you know individual organizations that sort of thing they'd rather see these people with say you know a thousand followers that are getting you know a couple hundred responses on your social media posts or like you know hey i only have whatever like 300 subscribers on youtube but i'm getting you know hundreds and hundreds of views on this and i'm getting like an active response from that the just right. the the number sake while it still looks good and that opens up a conversation potentially to some people when you're when you get into those higher numbers and the response from that number is lackluster they're paying a lot more attention to that now so yeah like the, so it's like engagement versus like reach exactly and um i still think reach definitely has a part to play for sure um but engagement's definitely um engagement's definitely like the key um what's that engagement makes is the part that makes me want to stream um metric that's the word i'm looking for yeah i think en engagement's like uh the key metric to uh measure a successful stream and I, i'll say i'll be the first to say that i've been turned down um you know just because of like they, they said you know oh your engagements you know like if people i hit up and like hey you know want to check me out and they're like yeah well your engagement's low <laughs> um but it's like i feel like the reach part can help with engagement as long as you are being engaging if that makes sense yeah, it'll it'll help you until it hurts you. Like yeah. right. you know, if you if you have twenty five thousand people that follow you because I don't know, fucking because Doc gave you a retweet one time and all these people ended up following you. Yeah. And then yeah. that does you know, they just they just did it and they forget about you right after that. That it, your content is still going out to more people than say somebody with like a thousand followers. But that, you know, that transfer, it, it looks better, honestly, to have a thousand, like, if it's going out to a thousand people and a hundred people respond to it compared to 25,000 and you have that same hundred. Like, yeah, but you still, you're, more people are apt to see it, but depending on how those followers got there. Or, you know, those viewers got there. It's then it's 100% on what you're putting out that keeps them there. Whether that be yeah. the actual number or that, you know, <clears throat> that's their engagement rate and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I would have to say that, well, there's some people that I used to follow, we'll just say, and... Like they have like ten thousand probably followers or something, but they are only getting like ten likes, you know, a tweet or less, and it's just like you look at that and it's like your proportion is not really look looking good. Brother. Oh yeah, I mean it looks like fucking trash, especially when you get into those higher numbers. And I mean, especially like even if we're taking specifically like say Twitter, right? Because that's just kind of the easiest one. Everyone knows the metrics on that kind of a thing, and. You know, if you're if you have a fucking K next to your follower number and you're getting, you know, just double digit responses. It's pretty good, right? Well, Did no. You say? 
so oh. if there's a K next, so like once you get over that nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine mark, and you're oh, at like ten okay. K followers, okay. and you're only getting double digits, you're sub one hundred on like your retweets yeah. and your responses and stuff. Like that just looks bad, you know? Because then it then it brings up the okay. So like, how did you obtain these people? Like, you know, why do you have yeah, ten thousand people? But then you have X amount of responses. Yeah, like towards anything you post yeah, yeah. how do you have ten thousand people that follow this account but only 35 of them are responding in any way it's like, just sus at that point yeah and you know it's that's kind of you know bringing it back to like the stream platform bit you know that's that's one of the things and you know i i love I love the technology and the idea and like the whole decentralized network with theta. It's an incredible concept. It's a great idea. And like so far the the actual network itself works really fucking well. Yeah. yeah. Where, where the problems coming in is how the, the platform was initially built and the giveaways are kind of the central part of it now where if people aren't there specifically just, you know, mining their tea fuel and stuff for their own personal gain and shit they're they're that's there all the for sites the... really built on is just personal gain for viewers it's not even so much about the streamers at that point exactly yeah. and it's yeah. the same issue with like giveaways and stuff and that can translate over to your social media stuff like you you know on on theta i mean i'm up oh, i'm almost at two thousand followers on there and you know my my twitch is like a fucking third of that but mm. the the engagement process like i can fucking name like 10 people that like are like legitimate supporters of me and come in and you know enjoy the content and are there for me and not for anything else and when right. you go and you're looking at, you know, you're averaging anywhere from like, you know, 20 to 50 fucking viewers, you know, sometimes even more if one of the partners comes by and like drops, you know, a raid or whatever, or somebody that has, you know, more viewers at the time. It, it just like doesn't translate. Like if you were to, yeah. if you, if my numbers were over on a different site, if I had, you know, this, the 1600 and whatever I have on theta if i had them on twitch and i had that same number of viewers over on twitch i'd be viewed as more of like this like lower mid streamer like there's there's a lot more support there and that's going to be something that they really have to address and those are that's yeah. like the biggest issue that i've brought up to the the devs and stuff is like look like eventually this needs to be addressed that like it, it gets to the point where it's just fucking annoying like i'm the thing is they're not gonna fix it they're getting what they want out of the website and that's all they want i don't really think they have anything that they really want to fix with the website except for yeah. minor details well like that's what i was just about to say is like it's become a lot of over engineered it's the platform itself has become over engineered in a way to where it's like it, there's just like they don't need any more oversight like there's they don't have any like kind of like support system you know like internal support system like i don't know well having a lack of support on the weekends is is killer and you know it's it, and the weekends it is, is prime time too yeah and you know having you know like a, a full-blown catastrophe like what happened the past week and your site's completely fucking down when you do maintenance, or, like, after you bring it up for maintenance. Yeah. And nobody's around to fix it until Monday. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I know people are working on it, like, at home and shit, but, like, they're off the clock now, so there's only so much they're gonna actually do. Yeah. You know, exactly. it's, it's, you're opening a shop part-time and expecting full-time hours out of everybody, and expecting, you know, full-time profits. Like, it's... Yeah, the expectations there are kind of like, what? And that's what, like, why well, I kind of, like, came to my head. I was thinking about it actually the other day, and I'm like, well, all of these places are trying to, like, enter this space. And like you said, it's, like, really good for comp competition, and it's, like, but, like, they're trying to enter this, like, space that, like, it takes a lot of, like, how do I want to say this? It takes a lot of, like, effort, like, a lot of effort to, like, 
like con consistent like you can't just like okay we, we we spun it up like you were saying about caffeine jacks like okay let's just let like let it go how it lies like that's not yeah. how you run mm. something I'm it's sorry. lazy like, ass like it's not like I'm, I'm not one to talk like either like I, I, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to myself but when you're running a business like if you're trying to like have anything if you're trying to like be anything or become anything or grow like y you have to like try you know what I mean like I don't know yeah, you got to listen to your community and see what changes need to be made. And you got to yeah. try to make those changes in a way where you, you get it like in between of people who want the change and who don't, and the people who don't want the change. You got to take those two and try to get to it in between of what you can do with the website to right. try and make people happy. And honestly, but that's, with, that's one of my biggest things about Trovo right now is like, they are so fucking active with their community. It's insane. Like people, yeah, really. people literally asked for like, it was like maybe a month where they were like, you know, Hey, what's the, what's the next big feature that you guys would really love to see. And they were like VODs. That's like the biggest thing that we want to see out of you guys. Damn. Th three weeks later, they have VODs up and running. What? Like, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. No, yeah, see that they, they that... listen. And like any of the issues that people have, it's like almost immediately addressed. If it's something like legitimate, like, hey, you know, a lot of people were, I was watching, and I was the same kind of way. One of the features that I didn't like about Trovo was every time you join a stream, it fucking pops up. And it's like, oh, Joe for Show's here. I'm like, no, I just want to fucking check this person out. I don't need to you to force, like, that's like somebody, yeah. like, you're just kind of yeah, like Joe getting. Joe for join the chat. It's like, this yeah. isn't fucking Discord or Facebook or anything like that. Like, yeah. no, I don't want that. I don't, I don't need a third person coming in to just, like, announce, like, hey, hey, Joe's here. Yeah. Like, if no, I'm browsing, right. I want to be anonymous. If I like the person, then I'll let them know I'm here. Yeah. But, like, the if I'm... the same thing is, like, like, on Twitch where you have those bots and someone joins your stream or something like that. And they're like, hey, welcome to the chat. It's like, I, why are you calling me out like that? Like, I'm not here to stay. Yeah. And then they try to strike up a conversation with me. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. And then, then I feel like the <laughs> asshole for leaving just because I wanted to see what the hell this, you know, this anime profile picture person actually looked like because i can see they have a face cam up like yeah yeah it's like no i'm intrigued like i see the details of your stream like hey i'll check it out if i like it i'll send a follow if not it, okay then like leave me be they they'll, they have no idea i don't want them to have a feel bad like people are joining their chat not talking because they're coming by it's like no yeah like exactly what joe said now i'm the asshole in the situation <sighs> yeah i don't know anyways i think we should probably move on to this to a lighter topic <laughs> yeah okay all right yeah now i'm heated i just i just want to know what <laughs> yeah, talking about. i think we're all kind of getting pissed off about all these streaming platforms okay cool right. got, got one for you guys yeah yeah <clears throat> a penguin walks through the door right now wearing a sombrero what is he saying why is he here um <laughs> I, uh... okay fine i'll lead my penguin came in because he's my neighbor and he just got off his shift at the local fishing fishery and uh okay. he was Sorry, wondering if pause? i had some I need, to, I need to edit this out someone has called me four times in a row we're not editing this oh. out okay that's the right. fbi currently is it called the CBI? Canada know, Bureau of Investigation? Oh, hey, this is the CBI. Uh, we <laughs> heard that uh, you have some illegal moose in the in the neighborhood, eh? We're going to fucking uh, come pick them up. Can you ask them for their uh, consent? Nope, moose can't consent, sir. Okay, <laughs> radio. We'll be uh, we'll be over there in a jiffy. <sighs> if Jax comes back right now and he's just like, he's just like, well, the police I, are here. Yeah, he's like, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Mounties show up and have to turn off his cam. Okay, so actual question, and like, regardless of if Jax is here, this is more of just okay. like a a fun thing that I just thought about. What right. the fuck do mounted police do when you have to, when they arrest somebody? 
Wait, what? Say that again? The mounted police. So, like, even, like, here in the States. Like, we have cops yeah. on horses, right? Yes. What the fuck do they do when they arrest somebody? <laughs> like, where do they put them? Yeah. Like, I don't like, know. Like, you don't... They, they're not going to put them I've, up on the horse. That's dangerous. I've had, I've had this firsthand. I've witnessed this firsthand, and they just... They either walk just, them? like... Yeah, they walk them, or they, uh... Well, that seems someone, like dehumanizing. They call, they call someone in, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess that's and, true. And, and they throw them in. But Imagine just how like, dehumanizing that would be, though. You get fucking yeah. arrested by some dude on a horse, and he yeah. walks you to the station next to this fucking huge-ass <laughs> horse. I mean, dude, how'd they do it in the old days? You know what I mean? That's what they did. Well, that was it's different, like, though. They could just hog tie him and throw him on the back, and nobody thought twice about it. And yeah, that's true. But now that's, like, too dehumanizing. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of bummed that this uh, penguin discussion just kind of got broken up sure. because Jax decided to I don't know commit 17 felonies or something. J Jax wanted to uh, he didn't want to answer the question, so he's just faking it. Yeah, Jax committed a crime. Now he's going to jail. Now it's Grim and I, and this podcast will fail. It's uh, uh, gonna uh, be sad. And I don't know why. I don't know where my dog went. Hopefully she didn't die. Oh, and now we're back. I don't know, from outer space? Yeah. From out of town? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> uh, okay, so right about name? here, we'll put a cool transition cut. Hwa! And I, cut. I, look. Oh, wait. Never mind. Grim's back, too. I was going to say, look, we got Jax back, but we killed Grim to get him back. Um, I had to keep but whatever. I forgot to go. Just go. It's, it, are you guys still in the pod? You got a right white now? claw? Oh, I'll, I'll one up you. Hang on. He's going to come back with meth. <laughs> Heroin. Yeah, just straight up. I told you I'm going to fucking one up you, bro. Just. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> Well, yeah, no, she's good. She's result. good. I just, I'm just glad I'm, because uh, I'm the only one home this whole weekend, so I'm the only one around to help her, really. Gotcha. So. What do you got? Four loco. I don't know what truly is. Oh! Was, it's I've never the, heard it's of truly. a slightly better version of white claws. Yeah, and these oh, are the okay. lemonades too. So okay, I've never really heard. Good. Are they like Mike's hard? No, it's a lot closer to like a like a white claw, like the seltzer water kind of a thing. It's a hard seltzer lemonade. Lemonade hard seltzer. It's what it says. So carbonated lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this, so this is Mike's black hard. cherry. It's actually, really good. Wait. What yeah, flavor? I'm drinking black cherry too. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> okay. And hard cut. And we're hi, back. Hi Zelda. And wait, what? I said hi Zelda. Zelda's behind you. Oh, there you are. Hi, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. The guys got booze. Jax got back from his trip to hell. Um, oh, wait. No, it wasn't hell. It was uh, we were saying that the police showed up um, and yep. you were going to be arrested. And then we had a wonderful conversation about what people like if uh, if the mounted police or like whatever the American equivalent is. I think they're just called cops on horses. Um, what do they do when they <laughs> arrest somebody? Um, and we basically... Uh, they they kind of like, you know, they like hog tie them so they got their hands together, the See, legs together, th that's what I was together, saying. And they sling them over the back of the horse. Word for word what I said. <laughs> Red dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. It's like a bounty. The police... The RCMP collects bounties where the police make arrests. Sick. And then they execute it. <laughs> that, um, that's how it's done here. Um, but yeah, we so, just assumed sorry, you what, were arrested. What was our last topic of discussion? It was the penguin walks in with a sombrero? Yeah. What does he say and why uh, is he here? And mine was that it's my neighbor. He just got back from his job at the fishery. And uh, he was wondering if I had if I had enough time to have a couple beers with him. And then because his wife, Patty, is a bitch. And he wanted to talk about their failing marriage. Damn, I was going to go on the kind of same line as that. Like, Buddy showed up, taking a vacation to the south, you know. 
he had a reservation to book uh, the attic <laughs> where it's nice and hot and uh sombrero's there just for shits and gigs and he just wants to chill kick back have a couple brewskis before yeah, he returns he's, home he's being fucking festive yeah yeah well i'm and, like the sombrero makes sense because he's traveling south but he didn't quite make it to mexico nor the <laughs> states so here he is in canada he just got lost. still a way hotter temperature than he's used to might so. as well be mexico for so a penguin. my it's penguin fitting. <laughs> My penguin's actually from Antarctica, so it came from Mexico, and it was just like, don't go to Mexico. There are no penguins on the South Pole. Well, my, well, anyway. <laughs> there's penguins well, there are, in but... South America. Yeah, yeah. In South, South America. American penguins. Yes, that's true. Whatever. He's They're part the of the Antarctic cartel. Side. Yeah, he said, "Don't go to Mexico. I'm going north." And he tipped his sombrero, <laughs> and he walked away. And he rode off on the horse. <laughs> yes, he rode off on another penguin. <laughs> on an RCMP's horse with a bounty slung on the back. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Amazing. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What color would you be and why? Wow. Um, what color would I be and why? A new addition... Hmm. You don't have to be a made up color. You can be a color that's in there. Just like you're oh. joining. No, I know. I'm trying to think of a clever name for a color. No, <laughs> I, saw, I saw I saw I saw Grim's face. <laughs> no, I'm not trying Grim, to think of Grim was going color. real deep with it. <laughs> I, I, like what I, well, color I is just, my I don't want to I don't want to be a uh, like a, a a basic color. <laughs> Grim's like I don't want to be a color. I want to be a shape, damn it. Yeah. Okay, bye Zelda. Have a good life. Uh, so should I be like should I be like an infectious infectious purple or like a or like a <clears throat> leg vein blue? Ooh. I don't like the names <laughs> of either of those. Infectious purple. Oh. Are you sure you don't want to pick Yuri for your Doki Doki run through? <laughs> no, because I already know what happens with their story. <laughs> um um yeah i think i'd probably have to go with one of those two or you know like a gargantuan green it's a giant pickle yep. yeah just yeah Something i would like have that. to say... i was thinking more of like jack and the beanstalk with that but yeah <laughs> i was thinking pickle rick <laughs> <laughs> You see that guy who turned himself into a pickle? Funniest shit ever. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Cucumber Joe. <laughs> Cucumber Joe. Cucumber Joe. That'd be it. That'd be it. That, that's a good... That's a good... Uh... It exists. It's a shirt. <laughs> it's a fantastic shirt. Is it? I, I really wish I bought it. Yeah, it's from oh. uh, Cold shout, Ones. Shout out Cold Ones. Yeah, right. shout out Cold I'm still what waiting for my fucking shirt, by the way. What's what? Cold Ones? Uh, it's that podcast with Max Mofo and uh, Anything for Views. Oh, it's so good. You gotta watch it. I watch. I watch hot ones. <laughs> um, it's complete basically opposite. if you took my mind and had two people in it that just got shit faced and then just did whatever they want. That's that's like what the show is. Like it's yeah. it's the editing and stuff is just my brain and how I function. Yeah. So the, la like, the last episode they did, up. they shoved I have to go a, watch a it now. Patreon only. Yeah, Patreon only, but the last episode they put a camera up Chad's ass. Yeah. yeah. They it was it was like a, a snake cam that you're supposed to use for like the toilet and stuff. And yeah, they put it up his ass. <laughs> okay. All right. Um Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll educate you on it after the podcast. Moving yeah, on. I would have to say like a uh I would have to be like, I want to say like a, a rocky, like, like a, a rocky uh, surface color, but I can't think of like a color. Brown. A rocky, a rocky. No, not brown. Gray. That's weird. Gray. Yeah. No, but that's like. I was gonna say like asphalt a, ass. Brown. A rocky, like a rocky blue, like an ocean rock, blue. Cool. Like because I love the ocean. Not quite. And a... I've been to both oceans this year. Shout out Atlantic Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> Don't at them. Don't at them though. Don't at them. 
Neither is better, by the way. They're both. What about you, Joe? Shit. What's your color? I'd be white. I'm the Just useless because I'm the Just useless white. crayon. Ooh. Nobody uses me. Uh, it's it's really not useless though. But like if you're paper? actually like no, well how not even fucking, black paper. Like how many kids actually use it have for black darker paper? colors. No, yeah, and then that the white crayon's, crayon's used for darker colors, and then you go over it with the white to like give it some accent coloring. And then that cr- and then the white crayon is ruined. No, you just use the Crayola Ooh. sharpener. Are you dumb? All right, sorry, I wasn't one of the fucking rich kids with the sixty-four pack <laughs> and the goddamn fucking crayon sharpener in the back. Not once did I ever Jacks, own you one. Fucking privileged use a regular asshole. fucking pencil sharpener. I had a fucking six pack, and it was like purple, <laughs> red, blue, green, yellow, black, white, and then like a weird brown color. Those were more. Okay, than six. hold on. Can we use this to segue into uh, my topic? Race. Yes. What was one of the toys you got as a kit? Sorry, what was that? Do you want to repeat that? <laughs> Grim's face just... Oh! That's anyway. <laughs> segue into my topic of choice. What was the one toy you wanted as a kid but never got? A brother. Okay, wait. So I just, not, had a, I, I just had a... I just had a conversation with my mom about this. And it was two things because on two separate occasions we were at boardwalks when I was a kid, like nine and under, I think. And I wanted a fucking the you ever get at the the boardwalk like where they sell a uh, a grain of rice with your name engraved in the grain of rice. Yeah. Apparently, I was obsessed with it, and I got like, oh shit, he has one. I have one. Oh shit, you can't really see it, but yeah, I have one. Yeah, so. I don't know what happened to those things. Um, so that's like not so like ne- not getting it, but like <laughs> um, I just don't know where they went. Um, but apparently I have two, according to my mom. The other thing is my mom said that there was this game and I was trying to win a bike from the game. And <clears throat> Oh, was said, it like one of those crotch rockets? Yeah, it was something crazy. <laughs> and I was trying to win it like the whole day. It was literally like my mom said like it was like the whole day. She's like, I literally had to break the bank and keep getting money out so you could play the game. And she's like, and you never fucking got the bike. She was Crotch like, I thought rockets. she was like, I thought you were going to get it. And you didn't fucking get it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Joe? I just wanted a BB gun. A BB gun? You should yeah. try out, kid. Which is exactly what my mom I had plenty of BB guns. I had a pellet gun, too. Um, yeah, paintball gun. The one toy I never got, though, when I was young, we had the Sears catalog. And in the Sears catalog, there was always that sick-ass toy section, and then out following it was the electronics. But in that toy section, they had, like, you know those classic uh, shooters? Like, you have a revolver, you shoot the cans off a fence? Mm-hmm. It was kind of like that, but it was it was a toy. So you like put it on the wall, and like it was like a laser tag. Like you shot it with the laser, and then the can would pop off. Okay, it actually, I know exactly toys. what you're talking yeah. about. It was one of those fucking toys, and I really, really wanted it for years. And every year, I asked for the same thing for probably five years in a row. I want this. Never got it. I got one that was kind of close to that, except it was, it was like a. A bunch of little like fans essentially and they shot straight up and it was like a ping pong ball that would just like float on this like breeze coming out of it and oh, then it yeah, was yeah. uh it was a dart gun that came with it like just like a nerf pistol essentially and so the goal was to shoot those off and it had like a little sensor thing in the fan so that when the ball was gone it counted for the point and then I kept yeah. track of your points, and then you could you could play with up to like four people, I think is what it was. Um, but every time that my friends would win, I'd just go over and kick it during my turn, so I'd get all five points, and then I'd say, "All right, we're <laughs> done playing." I was a sore wow. loser, a shitty <laughs> player. Yeah, but nobody ever beat me, so haha, <laughs> fuck you. Fair. <laughs> all right. Well, I think this is. Uh, I think this is a good point to end the podcast on here. Yeah, especially since there's 20 minutes to add it out where Jax is getting arrested by the CPI. Or CBI. The CPI, RCMP? No, the CBI. The Canada Bureau the CBI. of Investigation. Fair enough, fair enough. Anyways, is yeah, that a real let's thing? leave on that. <laughs> no. 
Yes, <laughs> everywhere in the world, they just replace the first initial with their country. So like yeah, exactly. in like Algeria, it's the ABI. Is Algeria still a country? <laughs> yeah. I Okay. Probably. I don't know. I don't follow countries except for the states because you're fucking next door. So <laughs> anyways, let's leave on that note. Thank you everyone for chilling Peace, with us guys. for this frag frag crust. Try it. Fray, fray, try fray. it again. For uh uh Sensodyne. Welcome to the Sensodyne podcast. Um hold on. We should start including comments <laughs> at some point. What? Just putting Thank you for there. watching the Fragcast. It has been your boys, Jim the Grim, Grim the Jim, Jofo Show, and Little Clorox. We'll see you in episode five. Bye. Penis. All right. <laughs> now, yeah. should we just go on and do episode five right now?